Two million today, man. God damn it! This is not good for business! I got 11. Please tell me you bet 11. Wait, that's all you bet? 400k in the middle, yeah. It didn't stack. Go God damn it, bro. Okay. No. I just lost 2.5 million today, motherfucker. Back up to grind, you know what I'm saying? Back to selling more parachutes. Where the fuck is Brian? It? Probably here. You know, Malo called me told me, you know, parachute sold out, bro. I gotta get him more. Think he's here yet? I'm a fucking genie. How the fuck should I know? Oh, fucking no. Call him again. What should we do? How long is it? It's been like eight minutes. It should be here like in a minute or two. All right, let's go to the penthouse. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Yeah. Uh, Come on, Brian. I got you All right. under All right. my skin. What's going on, gentlemen? What's going on, Brian? What, what's up with the uh, orange hair? You look weird. Uh, I've been possessed by the father of fire. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, Speedy said you wanted to talk about some shit. Yeah, it's complicated. What do you mean? Yeah, what's mine? Is that a gang vest? Uh, yeah, it, it'd take a while to explain. Uh, you know, supernatural things. Lady yeah. of the Lake, etc., etc. Yeah. Um, all right. So I spoke to Speedy. Um, when did I, when did I talk to you, Speedy? A week hmm? ago? Uh, yes. I think a week ago. Um... Lang, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase. This is Los Santos. Crazy things happen. When um when Mickey was mayor, uh a bit of an agreement that uh him and I had come to. Um, in which look, Mickey uh funded our department, allowed us to do things that was necessary to improve our force and well, go after the real scumbags. And, in turn, energy wasn't wasted in things that, in areas that it didn't need to be wasted in. And that includes some of the perusing he used to do, whether it was, you know, illegal flights or whenever he decided to get a firearm and break into a bank. Where I'm going with this is um, there's very few people in the, in the police department uh, that spend as much time looking at spreadsheets as I do. I think you have an idea as to what this uh, topic is in reference to. Jacob's got to be a little bit more careful with his phone. What do you mean? Well, um, making phone calls with suspects uh, in locations in the vicinity of both the bombing. Um, phone calls coming out of the Roosters, coming out of uh, La Fuente Blanca, the story begins to kind of paint itself. I want Shelly. 
And that's all I want. Well, you want Shelly? What do you mean you want Shelly? We know she's behind this. Behind what? The bombing sling. Yeah, no shit she's behind it. I don't really know where the saga is going to go. Huh? But at the end, I want Shelly. Now, the problem becomes sometimes these loose ends can become a problem and a thorn on the side. You understand where I'm going with this? Um, kind of, but I'd rather you paint the picture a little bit better, honestly. Shelly's the only one that needs to go down. Yeah, but who, who else is going down? I'm confused. Everyone that has uh, <laughs> that we have evidence on. Okay, and why do we give a fuck about that? Well, I think some uh, some of the individuals close to you, Lang. Have there ain't nobody uh, close involved. to me anymore, Brian. Everyone's just cannon fodder. Even Listen. Speedy. Spe Speedy's hands are extremely dirty. In all this. I have no idea what you're talking about, Brian. We talked about this. I know. And I think we can keep it that way. Got it all figured out, don't you, Brian? I think you'd be uh, very surprised. See. Well, you know what I happened? Have no when... idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I, and you know what? I, I wouldn't expect the mayor to. I think you have the best interest in for the city and the police department. Yes, I do. That's hopefully obvious. Yeah. And you know what? I think, uh, you know, Speedy may have just made some unfortunate series of phone calls from some unfortunate locations, along <laughs> with Jacob, along with Lando. What and kind of locations? I, I already mentioned them. Why? But like I said, uh, the police department only has so much energy. And for a mayor that's been so giving, I don't think that energy needs to be expended on their people. I will say, there is another interest that I have in all of this. Now, to some degree, I want to see you protected, Lang. You may not believe it. I mean, I've kicked your door in a couple times. It's been a while, though. Oh. Did, uh, Speedy, did you, did you mention, uh, the situation with Trey? Huh? Mr. Romano? Trey, Trey, Trey. I don't remember. But I, I always smoke every day, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't remember yesterday. Mm. I, you, maybe you can lighten it. It's, uh, I'd be careful with uh, Trey there, Lang. Be careful with what? What do you think I do with Trey, sir? Um, I hope not too much. I'll, he is a fanatic much. and a fanboy of the city's most wanted terrorist, mm. Brian. Why would I associate myself with him in any capacity? Good. Well, you know, it's uh, sometimes good to give a warning, you know, just in case you get too close. The only people I'm close with is myself. What about Speedy over here? Give a fuck about Speedy. Brian, we always care about ourselves, you know? We at the top, you know what I'm saying? We at the top, but I mean we, I mean mm -hmm. like myself, you know, himself, yourself, everybody at the top, you know? Mr. <laughs> Simone, doesn't seem other, to, you know? Mr. Simone doesn't seem to think that way. What do you mean? What does this mean? What is Trey up to? Uh, the man disfigured his face to look like Simone after we took a photograph of Simone. Yeah, like I said, he's a fanatic and a fanboy. These individuals Terrorist. are so scared over a photograph. I'm going to tell you this much, Lang. I've chased after Simone for nearly a year. Drove him out of the goddamn city. Uh-huh. One simple photograph. I'm surprised the news hasn't reached you. 
cause numbers of individuals to transfigure their face. I've got no energy for Mr. Simone. Are you He's aware of what I did to Simone? I've, uh, no. Well, a couple of weeks back, I think it's probably the second or third day of uh, my mayorship, uh, I've heard that uh, somehow this Simone fella mm. uh, acquired, uh, well, at the time what we believed to was acquiring uh, Parsons and the hospital, you know, one of the, what you could argue is one of the most uh, needed services in the city. And uh, I know him and his brother were terrorists, so I saw him twat out some shit regarding the hospital, so I resp responded to his twat saying, you're a terrorist. You know what happened in the next hour? Anonymous footage leaked on Twitter of my DeLorean getting blown up with spray paint on the wall saying Michael was here. If you think I'm in bed with these fucking assholes, you got the fucking wrong idea. I would love to see both of them taken the fuck down. Well, one is already dead, so just one more left. I think you and I both know he's alive. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't really know much of him. I believe you. Um, I don't think you're in bed with him. I think rather, I think the Simones are jealous. I think they've, uh, their, their psyche paints that picture. Why else would they buy up a hospital and slap their name on it? Because they're pussy. Yeah, but one can beg the question, how does that, how does that even happen with, uh, with known terrorists? You know the loopholes and, and the mountains I had to climb with my record to get things done? Nothing compared to terrorism? You know Nick owns a private island, right? I don't understand how. Um, they're both... Uh, uh... I, I think their parents like got deceased and they in inherited an ungodly amount of money. That always seems to be the story for a lot of people around here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know how it is. <laughs> uh, my reason for bringing it up is, like I said, it may not seem that way, but Los Santos isn't like any other city where I, as a chief of police, needs to go and solve every crime, put every person in jail. Because at the end of the day, if the money's coming in and I have an ally, why would I go after an ally? Right. Are you picking up on what I'm putting down there? I'm picking up what you're putting down, Brian. And the reason I bring up Trey, I know he's close to the guild. Um, Lando's fingerprints have been on some things. And unfortunately, sometimes when you acquire certain things, um, I mean, you know how it goes. One thing, even if you're loosely related to somebody, you know, you can bring some unnecessary heat. Of course, I've dealt with it many times. All right. Well, do you have any other questions for me? Uh, what island do they own? Uh, I'm sure Nancy could tell you. Oh, would Nancy be able to tell me that? I've been told she's visited. They're very close, those two. Hmm. Listen here, Man. Brian. Listen here. Man. Can't read you. Can't read you. But I'm tired of all these slimy cocksuckers coming out of the fucking shadow with mommy and daddy's money pretending they have a fucking big dick around here or self-made motherfuckers like me, Speedy, and whoever oh, the fuck else have to work our asses off to get to where the fuck we're at. So if you need anything to fucking take down these slimy cockroach fucks, you have my word. I will do anything that is required to do it, Brian. Mm. All right. I just need That's something on man. Kelly with a bomb or something like that. I'm not trying to... Look, I don't give a fuck about her. It became personal. Why shut it, Brian? Not why I put the crosshairs on the fucking Simone brothers. You know fucking Michael's alive. Come on. Because the goddamn police department is in his pocket. How? How is this possible? How does this mysterious man have so much fucking power? 
Lang, if you knew what I experienced over the last year over the Simone investigation, no one gave a fuck about him. And that's my one fucking day, problem, Brian. These guys are branded fucking known terrorists. Nobody seems to give a fuck about it and they keep obtaining all this power. Lang, I am the reason we kicked his doors open, took his shit, went after his friends. And you know what the detectives that were supposedly the leads on this case started doing? What? Smearing my goddamn name through the goddamn mud. Said I didn't write a single subpoena. I wrote 25. All of a sudden, they were interested. All of a sudden, people that had close relations to him, hmm. ships to him, apparently none of that conflict mattered. The head of the fucking detective unit acquired an AWM to use it to help his goddamn daughter was also friends with her. What? Wait, wait, oh, what? You have no idea how bad the internal drama becomes. To the point that even to this day, when I bring up factual information pertaining to the Simones, it becomes tinfoil hat Brian, but guess what? I'm the one that took his shit. I'm the one that's made people disfigure their goddamn faces. But, you know, I'm going to be real with you. Simone isn't the reason he's not in jail. It's his friends in the police department that have kept him out. So. Maybe I need a little bit of outside of help when the push comes to shove. Brian, listen. You're like Commissioner Gordon, all right? Petey's Robin and I'm Batman. Let's take these motherfuckers out together, Brian. You take all the fucking benefits. You take all the fucking headlines in the newspaper. We want no part in that. I'm your best chance at taking these motherfuckers down. Your best chance. I believe you. And you know, once, uh, well, once those businesses become vacant, I'm sure they need another person to operate them. I don't care about the power, Brian. I'm just tired, like I said. These fucking trust fund babies coming out of fucking nowhere, having some fucking bone to pick with me, obtaining all this power while I'm out here in the fucking mud in the gutter for years to get to where I'm at. You and me both, Lang. I supposedly destroyed the police department. I'm ready to goddamn take it over. Uh, you need anything from Davis? You let me know. Need the Vinewood cleaned up? We'll take care of it, and I'll let you know if uh, anything comes my way. But for now, I need Shelly with an explosive. And what does that get us, Brian? If that were to hypothetically happen, then what happens? Well, an easy plea deal, something that's reasonable, her losing her businesses, um, and then it ends. I move on to the next thing. Now, of course, when I say so, of course, when I say that her acquisition of these things, the timing, etc., she would need to do it herself. Everything would need to remain legal. And I know she's already gotten her hands on it once. I'm sure she might find herself. Well, I know she's not done yet. Brian. Hmm. We allegedly help you with. I want your word that we take down the fucking Simone brothers. Done. Because you see, I know what they're fucking up to, Brian. I know what their fucking next plan is. I'm sure you would love to fucking know. Well, I already put his uh, latest set of henchmen in for terrorism recently. So they're probably still licking their wounds. Whatever's next, I'm sure it's going to be big. Oh, you have no idea. Um, just so you're aware, he's still got close connections with the Lost. And the Diamond Dogs are his puppies. Nope. I can handle them solo. I'm for that one. No, no. Get, don't, that, no, the bad idea. I'm not going to do anything. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, you know. Listen, listen, listen. Let's not get distracted here. I can fucking... 
I have an information right now that if I told you, it would fucking blow your mind, Brian, but I'm going to hold this one to my chest. So I see I can trust you. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you for coming by. We appreciate your time. Of course. You take care. Like I said, give me a call if you need anything. We are, uh, Davis is at the disposal of the mayor's office. We'll do it, Brian. Locked up, Smitty. Should we talk some ass? Over here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We might have to betray Shelly. You, you, my brother, you serious? Or are you fucking with me? What do you think? Mm. Why are you asking me what I think, man? Listen. You are the Batman, right? Like you say, you know? <laughs> you take these hard decisions. You know what I'm saying? I fuck around, but uh, I let the hard decisions to you. You know what I mean? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make decisions like this. Get me? You know, you're the, you know, you're the fucking mayor. You're the fucking, the, the, the city needs you. And the truth is, what this puto didn't know was that when he was saying that shit goes down, I go down with Shelly. We already knew this. And I'm, you know, you know, I'm prepared to take it down for you. For anybody else, I, you know, I throw them under the bus. You know what I'm saying? But for you, I've, obviously, I would take the fall and not make sure, you know, your mayor should go down. But my honest opinion is Brian is a snake, but you just heard him, man. I don't care about the Simone brothers, but what I do care about that, the only one thing he said, right? If they got the whole PD in their fucking, you know, in their fucking, in their pocket, why not, you know, the mayor have some in his pocket? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, Speedy, our huh? opportunity. This is our fucking opportunity to take out these Simone Fox once and for all. We set them up. Ripe for the picking, for Brian and his boys to come in and send those two fucking behind bars for life. Really. But Lang, you, listen, I have to tell you this as a friend, all right? And you know, for once, I'm not joking. I want you to understand me and don't, don't freak out, all right? Even when people like Brian says people like Nancy and others are close to them, you have to take that into consideration. You get me? Of course. You have to keep it. Because what, you know, I'm not saying they will betray you. That's not what I'm saying. But hey, have you been to an island? I haven't been to an island yet. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck these motherfuckers on an island, Speedy? Well, I know how to stop them already, my brother. I know how to stop them already, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I think... If these putos own that island, you know, that's probably the fucking guy at the thingy that we can't go to, get it? Remember the fucking guy at the Air Force? Oh, like, fuck. You, don't tickets. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what you do, Mr. Mayor, you ban all international fucking flights. Any international flights, you know what I'm saying? It's shut down. How the fuck would I do that, Speedy? I don't fucking know. You figure out. You're the fucking smart one. Listen, I don't know what Michael's planning. He's going to blow up City Hall. Wait, what? Yes. Why would he blow up City Hall? Nobody gives a fuck about Michael. No idea, but you know the fucking tunnel next to it? Yeah. They're digging under City Hall to blow it up, Speedy. Now, we can take credit for that while burying the Simone brothers under it all at the same time. 
wait, wait, nein, what, if they gonna, wait, are, are they gonna try to kill you, bro, if they're building a bomb literally on the way you fucking live now, motherfucker, they oh, literally trying to fucking take you out, I spoke to Michael Simone personally, wait, he told me this plan, to yes, ah, fucking, okay, Listen, I'm down to ride with you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm short. I'm cute. I'm, you know, I'm like Robin. Whatever you decide, I trust you. You know what I mean? But uh, this is, the, you know, this is the stuff you got to keep close to your chest, buddy. Because a lot of, you know, a lot of people might be with that. Everybody you know? is a snake, Speedy. Everybody. Except yeah, I... me and you. I'm going to yes. sacrifice any snake to get what we need, Speedy. That's what I'm saying. You know? That's what I'm saying, bro. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? At least we understand each other. You know what I mean? Now, we have to come up with a way that we betray Shelly without getting caught. Betray the Simone brothers without getting caught. We get credit for everything, and they all end up behind bars while we drive away in the sunset laughing. I think I know. I think. You said you spoke to Simone brothers, right? Yeah. Simone brothers want to blow up the thing. Now, question yes. is, will the Simone brothers do it, you know, themselves, or will they, like, hire Russians again? Oh, I just convinced them to do it with me. You, and our crew. I will, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my brother. I cannot. If I get involved with Simone stuff, I will take and shoot them both in their fucking head and, you know, dig them 10 inches. I cannot do it. Why? Cannot I do need it. you, Speedy. <sighs> I hate those putos. They blew up my ranch. You know this. That's what I'm saying, Speedy. This is all to take them down. Fuck, man. I don't like to give a fake smile. You know what I mean? Even though I have a fake smile to show you the whole listen, time. Listen, we get them sent to prison for life. And then me and you go through our fucking tunnel. We dunk into that fucking prison and put a knife in each one of their fucking necks. And let them know we were behind all of it. Okay. But I want something. You know I don't work for free, even though we're brothers. <laughs> right? Right, what do you want? I want burger shot. 100% ownership. <laughs> consider it done, Speedy. Then consider it. I will smile. I will wave. I will shake people's hand. And I will cry inside of me. But I will <laughs> do it for the cause. You know what I'm saying? Right. Gotta take these That's cocksuckers right. down. Even if it means working Brian. with Brian. Hey, listen. But we can't get caught in the entire process. Of course. Why the fuck would he do it and get caught? You know, then if we do get caught, never go to the place, uh, never go to uh, the courthouse before they blow it up, buddy. You know what I'm saying? We need to be very careful and calculated in everything we do from now on, Speedy. You got to understand we're betraying Shetty, we're betraying the Simone brothers, and we're probably going to betray Brian at some point. Does that mean no green beer? Oh, of course. No, you need the green beer. That's what keeps you going. That's what I'm saying. No, that's the You need to double up on floating. the green beer, Speedy. Fuck it. I get a new strain. Yes. That's it. There is only one problem, brother. What's In that? a month from now, I have to fly out. But Where the fuck are you Indonesia. going? I'm going to tie. 16 oh. days to have a good time. Going in a month? Yeah, sorry, no, 1st of February to 16th, I'm going to have a good time. They legal 1st of they February legalized... or 1st of March? Sorry, 1st of March, you know, they legalized the green beer there now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we call this Project February, we make sure it's done before you leave. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Get the <sighs> fuck out of here. <laughs> I can't believe, buddy. I can't believe, you know, all my stuff been, you know. All and what? Pictures. It's good for us, you know? Play our card. We keep our car cards yes. close to our chest, Speedy. Oh, it's so close. You have no idea. Hey, hola, hola, hola. What you say, goon number one? I'm mean, sorry, goon number seven. What you say? Oh, good number five. Sorry. No, I'm not getting chased, bro. We Gucci out here. Did you guys pick the kush? 
Je wat er in de kush kush? Cup with one arm. That's Winston the Puto. Watch out, he's a snake. If he gets you guys, take him out. Winston the Puto. Well, only if he take you guys. But listen, boys, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Get the kush kush. You know, we gotta get in. You know what I'm saying? Have a great day, good number five. Bye bye. I mean, good number six. Bye bye. <laughs> That motherfucker down there go through my fucking trunk? Which one? It's okay, Mayor. You know, you chill out. I'll take it on. Wearing red short? I think so, yeah. Go yeah, kill that motherfucker. Room. Yeah, yeah, I lock the room and take him out. Put your hands up for me, buddy. Don't make oh. a fucking sudden move. Don't make a fucking sudden move. <laughs> Fucking sudden move, you know what I'm saying? You'll be fucking done. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What did you do to the car outside? <laughs> what car? You know which car? Don't, don't play dumb, you know? I know you know the car a little bit, but it was serious. I don't know did which you, car. I, I parked know, my car, I ran inside. Uh, you checked somebody's car trunk, man. We saw you. Why? No, no, no. Why would I go Why? through somebody's trunk when I have my own car? <laughs> I'm putting 250k on red. Why would I go through somebody's car? You stay down here. I'll be right back, right? <laughs> <laughs> Psst. Is that puto Kalnia? He said he didn't do it. You want me nah, to take him out? Nah, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait, I'm in uncoffin. He said the trunk was already open, so maybe. Oh, dude, 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 dude. What? You need to check it then, cause it might be spy. Uh, Brian's fucking uh, Brian's it, put it, it, exactly. It, you know what I'm saying? Putting stuff in. You know what we, you know what we need, actually, 
would be what? good. A bomb kit. <coughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like mirror to check under the stuff, cause then we will know if motherfuckers trying to fuck with us. I'm getting so many fucking phone calls, goddammit. Hey, you're the mayor, buddy. You gonna head to the bed, Speedy? Yeah, I'm gonna go get high, you know? Alright, I'll drop you up right here. Good night, my man. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, man. Good luck with the mayor. Uh, Yo. maybe tomorrow, alright? But 100% Monday. Have a great day. Alright, I'll see you Monday 100%. What's up, Arnold? Uh, 